Yo-Yo Land! Located at Sikon Square Mall in Bangkok, Thailand, Yo-Yo Land is home to Thailand's third oldest coaster and the only operating non-looping roller coaster in Bangkok, since Dreamworld is located outside of Bangkok province. But is Yo-Yo Land worth a stop for those seeking a coaster credit? Find out in this review. Thailand is home to a variety of kitty or family coasters, making getting coaster credits a pain at times since you will have to go to a park just to ride their kitty coaster. However, Yo-Yo Land is different. For one, it is located inside of Seacon Square Mall, so you have the ability to check out everything the mall has to offer while making a pit stop at Yo-Yo Land. It's also located in Bangkok, not too far from the main airport, so stopping here shouldn't be too much of a problem with proper planning. Yo-Yo Land offers 180 baht or $5.50 purple unlimited wristband for adults that allows them on 17 different attractions. Some of these attractions are just kiddie playgrounds where adults can join their children, but most are some type of family or kiddie ride. I have a separate countdown of my favorite adult attractions for those that are interested. This price point is really good, especially for roller coasters in Thailand. Other standalone coasters in Thailand can cost 50, 100, or 200 baht per ride, with no options for an unlimited pass, and some parks charge a mission on top of charging for their roller coasters. Yo-Yo Land is cheap and intended to be a true family destination for everyone. There is an option to add the new dinosaur experience for 80 baht or about $2.50. If you're looking to see animatronic dinosaurs, then this walkthrough exhibit is probably worth your time. I didn't find it too special, but for the cheap price point, I did enjoy the nice views of Roller Coaster that are only available from this section of the park. There is also a Ferris wheel in this section, which I ranked as the 10th best attraction in the park. In addition to the wristband, there are also token attractions that you can spend additional money on. These seem to be the five new for 2022 attractions as well as the various video games spread throughout the park. Though I'd prefer everything to be inclusive, I can understand making the unlimited wristbands cheaper while offering additional add-ons for those who wish to spend the extra money. The operations at this park were also phenomenal. I barely had to wait at all for any rides. Even having to wait for a ride to finish its cycle seemed long just because of how quickly I was able to move from ride to ride. In a park with small footprints, the ability to quickly move from attraction to attraction is a huge plus and makes Yo-Yo Land something truly special from an amusement park standpoint. There's a collection of kiddie only rides with the highlight probably being a kitty log flume. For small children, this offering is nice, especially combined with all the other options at Yo-Yo Land for kids. Basically, I would have loved this place as any type of child. The variety of playgrounds is good, which it should be since this is a kitty park. From more traditional playgrounds to a lost city maze to a dinosaur dig, there are great family activities that should be enjoyed and explored together. For thrill rides, the Kitty Yama Tower Drop was enjoyable since there wasn't any limitation for adults to ride, other than fitting into the tight restraint, which is unusual for these types of drop towers. The bouncing drops were enjoyable just as I remember them from being when I was a kid, though it didn't offer me a nice stomach dropping sensation. World Trip offered dizzying laterals as it spun around in a way that almost made me think I was getting airtime at its peak. This is a unique crazy bus style ride that faces riders in a floorless position facing outwards, and it is easily the park's most intense ride. Big Flume, the second and largest of the two log flumes, offers a unique downwards curve that allows you to build up speed before it's drop making this drop actually a bit scary and enjoyable, despite its small size. Roller Coaster offers a very basic, though large, kiddie coaster. 
This coaster has been redesigned twice with the intention of making it milder and more accessible to all guests, which makes sense given the nature of Yo-Yo Land. For coaster enthusiasts or thrill seekers, it makes Roller Coaster just a nice feature in a beautiful kitty park instead of being anything truly special. I still rank it higher than Wacky Worms that I've ridden though. For food, you're in a mall in Thailand. So there's a bunch of different options that you can choose from when you get hungry. My suggestion would be to check out the Hot Pot Buffet restaurant on the first floor since it's delicious. But you can't go wrong walking around and finding what looks delicious at a mall in Thailand. Overall, Yo-Yo Land is an adorable family park that I suggest everyone to visit while in Thailand. Although the experience would obviously be a lot better if you had young kids with you, I wish there were more amusement parks like this in the US that cater directly to kids. As the amusement park offerings here at Yo-Yo Land were better than most large amusement parks that I visited when it comes to their kitty attractions. What are your thoughts on Yo-Yo Land? Which attractions look the most interesting to you? Let me know. And as always, Kapkun Krap.